Scientists produce healthy mice from same-sex parents. Chinese scientists have made a scientific breakthrough. Scientists in China have successfully used gene editing and stem cell techniques to produce healthy mice with two mothers. According to a study published in the journal Cell Stem Cell, the researchers used cells called haploid embryonic stem cells, which contained half of the usual number of chromosomes from one mouse, and took DNA from another mouse. The scientists then used CRISPR-Cas9 to delete the imprinting from three regions of the DNA by cutting out a single letter of the genetic code, which made the genetic material appear more male. Without the correct pattern of male and female imprinting, a viable embryo cannot be produced. The embryonic stem cells were then injected into the eggs of a different female mouse, which developed into embryos. This produced 29 live mice from 210 embryos. The scientists say the mice were healthy and went on to have mice of their own. The author of the study said this technique could be 10 times more difficult for humans and primates. Stay tuned for more stories about gene editing. Designer babies may soon be possible. A team of researchers at Oregon Health and Science University have successfully performed the first known attempt to create genetically modified human embryos. Gene editing using CRISPR technology is capable of finding a target DNA sequence and replacing it with a desired sequence. Once injected, the guide RNA in the CRISPR-Cas9 system seeks out the target DNA before the Cas9 enzyme binds and cuts it. The void in the DNA strand is then filled with the desired sequence. CRISPR technology theoretically makes it possible to modify the genomes of any living thing on Earth. Researchers in China have previously conducted trials using CRISPR technology in cancer patients, but the results revealed a major problem. The technique can cause unwanted mutations in other parts of a DNA sequence. However, the Portland team is confident that it is possible to avoid such errors. Chinese scientists create GMO super dogs. A group of Chinese scientists say they are the first researchers to have used a breakthrough gene editing technology to successfully double the muscle mass of dogs. For this new research, the scientists used 65 beagle dog embryos, focusing in on genes encoded for myostatin, a protein that inhibits muscle growth. By injecting the enzyme complex CRISPR-Cas9 into the embryos, the objective was to knock out the myostatin genes in the dog's DNA. With myostatin out of the way, the beagle's muscles can grow to new extremes. The scientists report two of the pups born showed disruptions in their myostatin genes, a boy they named Hercules and a girl they named Tian Go. Creating more muscular and athletic dogs, this achievement could pump out some freakishly powerful canines for police and the military. This isn't the first time Chinese researchers have applied science to genetically modify animals. They've previously used gene editing techniques on goats, rabbits, rats, monkeys, and even fertilized human embryos. While the scientists say this particular study was undertaken to learn more about gene modification for human medicine, we can only imagine what other Frankensteins they might cook up in their lab. Bruce Banner, eat your heart out. Chinese scientists modify genes of human embryos. Scientists worldwide have renewed calls for a halt to controversial human embryo research after a team of Chinese scientists published a paper on the genetic editing of human embryos. Researchers at Sun Yat-sen University in Guangzhou, China hope to modify a gene in chromosome 11 responsible for beta thalassemia, a genetic mutation that reduces production of hemoglobin and results in a lack of oxygen in the body. The embryos used in the research each had an extra set of chromosomes after being fertilized by two sperms, meaning they could not result in a live birth. The research involved injecting the embryos with the enzyme complex CRISPR-Cas9, which splices DNA at specific locations. Researchers can then modify the gene causing beta thalassemia by programming the enzyme complex to target that specific gene. Of the 86 embryos injected with the enzyme, only 71 survived the initial 48-hour period needed for CRISPR to replace the DNA. 
Of the 54 embryos that were tested, researchers found that only 28 had successfully spliced, with a fraction of those 28 containing the replacement genetic material. The research team found a surprising number of mutations cropped up as a result of the CRISPR-Cas9 complex acting on parts of the genome other than the target area. Critics say the procedure could produce unknown effects on future generations as all modifications would be inheritable. Gene-edited immune cells clear babies incurable leukemia. A baby girl in Britain suffering from leukemia has become the first person in the world to receive an experimental gene editing procedure that miraculously reversed her cancer. Layla Richards was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia when she was just 14 weeks old, a disease in which the bone marrow makes too many immature lymphocytes. This is the most common type of cancer in children. In a healthy child, the bone marrow makes blood stem cells that can become myeloid stem cells or lymphoid stem cells, which then develop into mature red blood cells, platelets, and white blood cells. However, in a child with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, too many stem cells develop into lymphoblasts, B lymphocytes, or T lymphocytes, which are in fact leukemia cells. Leukemia cells are not able to fight infection, and they take up the space for healthy blood cells in the blood and bone marrow. This may lead to infection, anemia, and easy bleeding. Doctors in London performed a new gene editing technology known as Talon on Layla, which had previously only been tested on mice. The technology uses molecular tools that act like scissors to cut specific genes in order to make T cells from healthy donors behave in two specific ways. First, the cells are able to become invisible to a powerful leukemia drug that would normally kill them. Second, they are reprogrammed to target and fight against leukemia cells only. Layla spent several months in isolation due to her extremely weak immune system after the procedure. After the leukemia cells were confirmed to have been eliminated from Layla's body, she was given a bone marrow transplant to replace her entire blood and immune system. The treatment was prepared by scientists at London's Great Ormond Street Hospital, University College London and French biotech company Selectus. Selectus is going to fund full clinical trials of the therapy starting next year. Gene edited bacon? Scientists have successfully made pigs resistant to a deadly animal virus by editing their genes. Porcine Reproductive and Respiratory Syndrome, or PRRS, causes breathing problems and death in young pigs and stillborns in infected sows. To address this, University of Edinburgh researchers use gene editing to remove a small section of the pig's CD163 receptor, which the PRRS virus attaches to. They then exposed the gene-edited pigs to the virus and found that the animals did not become infected. Scientists say the genetic edit is permanent, meaning the pig's resistance to the disease will be passed down through natural breeding. The Edinburgh team stressed that unlike genetic modification, which is highly controversial, no foreign genes are added in during the editing process. But with no regulations in place, it may take years before the technology can be applied to commercially raised swines. So that GE bacon might have to wait.